time with Pan. It's story time with Pan. It's story, 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 story time with Pan. Woo! Okay. Once upon a time, when I lived in Chino, California, I lived in this house in the oldest part of Chino, California, long ago in the land of far away. And um, this house that we were living in was like a subdivided house, like a, they called them PUDs, where it was like a big house, but it was really kind of like a condo or a townhouse. There were two, you know, it was one house, but it was really two houses. It was built like one house. I don't know. You know what I mean? And when we first moved in, the, the first six months things, I was young. I think I was like seven or eight. Yeah. And this house, every time we'd leave the house or wake up in the morning, milk would be flipped over and or cups would be dropped and broken and books would be pushed out or lamps falling over. Y you don't even know. Pillows would be all over the place. Pieces of furniture would move. And, you know, my mom, who was studying ghost investigations at the time, she's like, do we have a poltergeist? Do we have a ghost? And, you know, no, we didn't. We didn't think we did. There was no nasty boogity boogity boo in the house, except the energy that certain other family members kind of generated and passed out. So, my mom had this friend. Her name was Larry. Yes, her name was Larry. And she said to my mom, she's like, you know, the only thing, because my mom was getting into this research, like, how old is this house? It's only five years old. What, was it an Indian burial ground or is it a spooky, spooky person die here? No, you're the first people that have lived here. Heck, congratulations. So why are we having this? Is it earthquakes? Are we on a fault line? I mean, speaking of earthquakes, <laughs> You know, so what is it? So Larry told my mom, she said, hey, I got an idea. Because she was all into this. Larry was actually one of the people that taught my mom a lot of things in the occult. And, you know, my mom knew a few things from other family members. But this was, Larry changed my mom's life. So Larry helped give my mom a backbone when she was young. Fair play to Larry. So wherever you are, Larry, God bless you. God bless you. So... Larry was getting this, she's like, the only thing I'm picking up here is, this used to be all dairy farms. Nobody died there, just cows. And then she had this novel idea. We had basset hounds that were at three o'clock in the morning barking at nothing. So Larry had this grandiose idea. She's like, I got an idea. I've heard this happen before. She's like, put hay in the backyard. Just leave some hay in the backyard and we're like, oh, her. And it went away. My mom being my mom going, what is this? And she's like, I don't know if it's real, but sometimes it happens that they had her. And I told this story once before about ghost cows. Okay. That for some reason there was this one family that actually had had what they thought stampedes of ghost cows this happened to somebody in texas where cows it felt like there had been cows going through their house because it used to be the stampede and so my mom was like that is such bs but you know what in this case we'll just put hay out in the backyard and it stopped it stopped so with that in mind we figured okay and after that we just kind of put hay in the backyard the basset hounds liked it and there was no more ghost cows. So, sometimes it might just be resonance of things that have happened before or it might be the energy of the cows or animals, you know, themselves, possibly thinking that they might still be alive. You never know. I mean, these are cows we're talking about here, folks. But I do know that we put some hay out and we didn't have any problems after that. That was in Chino, California. So, is it real? Is it not? I don't know. You decide. It don't matter. I gotta go. Talk to you later. Bye.